This video is going to show you how I installed these Everbuilt 15 inch soft close under mount drawer slides on my inset cabinets. Now they say that you can use them on frameless or normal frame like overlap uh, cabinets but I didn't see anything on inset and I was able to do it um, by uh, making kind of like a shim block out of a 2x4 so I'll show you how to do that and then I mount them to these um, drawers and then also put the drawer front on. So it's pretty easy, works really well, and they were pretty affordable. So here we go. We are going to use the brackets in the back to attach it to the back of the cabinet. And then these screw in on the underside of the cabinet and are the latches. And these brackets clip right into here. And they um, connect to this part of the bracket that you'll see later on in the video. So let's get started by installing these into the back of the drawer. So now we have the drawer box upside down and we're gonna install these two brackets. This bracket with an L is on the left-hand side. The one with an R on it is on the right-hand side. And you'll see the clip is gonna be right here because the slide is gonna sit here and clip in. And then we use the short screws and a 16th inch drill bit. I'm gonna put mine in at an angle because this is pretty thin. Um, so I wanna go into the actual solid uh, maple and not just the plywood. So I'm gonna draw a 16th inch uh, pilot hole, not too deep into each of these. It's okay if it goes through on this because there's gonna be a front to this, um, but you don't have to drill it too deep. Another thing to note is in the back of the drawer, you need to have a cutout here for the slide to sit on either side. And then also uh, holes drilled. These are quarter inch holes um, drilled for pins that'll on the sides that'll hold the drawer on the back side. And the directions show you how thick the, um, the cuts in the beat needs to be one and three sixteenths long. And just cut out all the way to where the drawer side is gonna sit. And then the drill bits, or the, the quarter inch holes, you see here on this drawing, needs to be 11 inch, 11 millimeters up from the base, of the bottom, and then six millimeters in. So six from here in, and 11 down, and that's where it is. And I made this drawer box using uh, my CNC. If you wanna watch that video on how I did this, I'll include a link in the description. Now these are both screwed in. One thing to note is the screws they give you are posi drive screws, so they'll kind of look like this on the head. And a Phillips can kind of work, but this works much better one of these screwdrivers. And these are used a lot for cabinets on hinges. Um, I got this one when I was doing some Blum hinges before, and um, the posi screws are almost impossible to get out when they're really tight in there with a normal Phillips. Um, so I bought this for that. So this is pretty useful to have if you're gonna be doing a lot of these to use the right kind of screwdriver. Phillips can kind of do it, but this will do a much better job. I'm gonna start off by putting this plastic bracket in here. Just put this in like this. Clips in, and so we'll do that also to the other side. Now take the bracket you can put it in this way if you have space underneath the cabinet. Um, I'm gonna be doing it on this direction because I don't, I want it as um, low as possible. So you slide it in like that. And we're gonna put the drawer slide in like this. It's kinda nice, I was able to take my top off. It's a little easier. Still have to caulk on here, so that'll all be fixed. Um, We're gonna put it in like this. And so we're gonna use a combination square to measure the size of a block of um, wood that we need right here so that this sits flush. So we want it where um, when the cabinet, it's gonna get, uh, the drawer is gonna be sucked in and bump up against this as a stop. So it's gonna be just inside there is where we want it to sit. And with these um, ovals, you have some play um, and the nice thing also is with this bracket, it can slide on that. So um, we can use this to adjust it. So we're gonna measure 
what size two by four we need um, using a combination square uh, to take that measure. So you can see here, I need about a three quarter inch um, piece of two by four. So I'm gonna take this to my miter saw and cut a, a two by four that size. Normally when I put in these blocks, I'll just tack it in with a brad nail. And then the screw um, from the slide is a, like about a three quarter inch screw. And so it'll go through um, the quarter inch um, block, blocking that normally I'm cutting and then have about a half inch to go into the, the plywood. Um, but this time, since this is a three quarter inch block of uh, two by four, I secured it with two screws um, that are relatively short screws. So they won't um, penetrate through, but I wanted to make sure that this is secure and not um, just relying on the brand now. I then take my combination square and I adjust it. So it's a, it's about a 16th inch longer. So it um, accounts for the width of the slide and the block of wood. So it's flush there. And I use that to figure out um, how, how far over the slide will be um, when, when it, to make it parallel. So it's bumped up against there and evenly touching this side of the, the combination of square and the edge of the, the slide right here. So then I'll mark um, with a pencil a dot in the one with um, the horizontal wiggle room. And I'll put a dot in there and then I'll drill it out. So now there's a dot. Let's pull this out and drill it. That's just a 16th inch pilot hole. I use one of the three quarter inch screws since this is three quarter inch plywood and secure this to the back. Right now I'm not caring about level. We're gonna check that in a minute. One thing to note is the plastic that's at the bottom of that bracket you see right here. It is um, raised up so uh, this isn't going to be flush in the front. It's gonna be um, up a little bit so that um, it accounts for that bump at the back. So we're gonna use a level. Now that the level's resting on the slide, so we're gonna check for level. And I like to stick my finger under the drawer is kind of like a little bit of a shim and hold it there. So I'm gonna take the level off and with my finger still underneath the slide holding it level, I'm gonna mark one of these um, holes in the set. Drill the hole in one of the ovals so that you have wiggle room and that's gonna allow you to get this flush um, for your stop. So, cause you still can, even with it screwed in, in the back, you can slide it back and forth. So we can um, adjust to make sure that the drawer is flush. And then with one of the one inch screws, so it's able to go far through this block and into the side um, of the cabinet, I screw it all the way in. Now this side is fully installed, so we're gonna move in over to the side. And what we're gonna do is just attach the back. Uh, we're not gonna attach the front yet, because um, we're gonna determine how much um, of a size of a block we're gonna need with the drawer in. So we're gonna start off with just kind of guesstimating where we'll need to screw um, the back in, and there is some wiggle room to side to side, so we'll make be able to make a small adjustment back there. Just like on the other side, we're gonna use our combination square here. And we are going to use it to estimate where the hole is going to be. So we're gonna put a uh, dot right there and pre-drill our hole and um, screw it in. I'm screwing it in with one of the three quarter inch screws. So now that that's screwed in, we're going to clip the drawer in um, with this loose and see um, how it likes to sit when it's fully closed. Um, and so that's gonna help us figure out how thick of a shim um, of a two by four we're gonna cut and put in there. To install the drawer box, fully pull out the slides. And then from the back, we're gonna take these pins and they're gonna slide into the quarter inch holes that were drilled. So this is right in there. So now with those in there, all you do is you come forward here, you pull down on this, and clip them shut. 
So clipping them shut, it takes a little bit of force with both hands. Um, since I'm holding the camera, I was able to do it. But you just squeeze it down, and now the drawer is in. Um, this side though is loose, so it's still, it'll wobble. Um, but the reason why we wanna do that is we're gonna let this close all the way, and we wanna see how this sits. So you can see that this wants to be um, flush here. Um, so if we had put the shim in earlier, this um, we may have misestimated that and then caused it to pinch. So you wanna look at this and see, wanna make sure that um, it's sitting nicely and um, not at an angle um, where you can tell that there's pressure. So we'll, we'll use our combination square then to figure out and measure what size piece of two by four we're gonna need so that this sits just inside um, the edge of the face frame. The shim we needed was about a 3 8 inch shim. And then I just like to tack it in with um, uh, Brad Nailer. Uh, since it's 3 8 and we're using a one inch screw, um, the screw will do all the holding power, um, but the brad nail is nice just to tack it in there so it'll be held in place while we level and screw in the slide. We are now going to repeat the process that we used on the other side and use a level and then mark it, uh, drill the pilot hole and screw it in. So now that the slide has been installed, you can uh, clip the box in like I showed you earlier and you're all done. So now I'll install the drawer front and this project will be done. So now I use playing cards to shim it so there's an eighth inch reveal all the way around. And so once I confirm that um, and it's good, then I'm gonna hold the uh, drawer front to the front of the box and drill uh, the pilot holes for the screws on either side. I added the screws to the back. I did have to add a third screw um, because there was a little bit of a wobble um, I think the drawer front just had a slight warp in it, and so just fastening it at two points um, wasn't keeping it uh, flush here, so I added a third point, and now it's rock solid. Now that the drawer front's screwed in, we're all done. You just have to order the poles and install those uh, later. If you found this video helpful, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.